Can you tell me how this woman is the third choice right now? Like, it's her and Vivek for the third choice. And I think she's even moving ahead of DeSantis. The third choice of As far people. as polling when it comes to the Republican Party. Like, oh. it's Trump and then everybody else. She's in the top three, top four. Oh, well, that's the same as being um, not a candidate because it's going to be Trump. <laughs> like, who cares? This, watch this. I mean, she sucks. Th these, these neocons, they want war with Iran- so badly. Everybody it, owes Don Lemon an apology for insulting this hag. Okay, let's. Don Lemon was right. She is a. Yeah, Don absolute, Lemon is the Don Lemon's the worst though. I don't want to hear them that guy anymore. He's such a donkey. Please. Um, I'm just. I'm just having a. I chuckle. know you are. It's. I'm just know, having some yucks. Part of the comedy. Let's listen to Nikki Haley. Right. This is when your top three choices over here for President of the United States. I know Israel well enough. I dealt with them for two years every day, and they want to save every single life. They want to bring every hostage home. And so America should be working with them on how to do that. But you don't do that with a pause. You do that by understanding what is the threat to the hostages and what is the threat to America. The threat to all of them is Iran. Iran is waving, you know, their flag telling Hamas what to do. They told Hamas to go and kill 1,400 Jewish people. She's a, That's a lie, she's by a the way. She's a despicable human being. She really she is. She is disgusting. That is a lie. Boy, she could uh, be a president. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a What's straight again? face, lying sack of evil shit. She yeah. could go all the way. Show the, show the face. Look at that. Let's play the rest of this. More lies. People. They're the ones telling Hamas what to do. We have to make sure Iran no, knows there will be hell to pay if they hurt any of our people. But I've also been there and I've seen those tunnels. And Martha, what makes this difficult is they could have those hostages in the tunnels. Mm -hmm. They could have the hostages somewhere else. But these tunnels are there underneath are. schools. They're underneath hospitals. They're underneath civilian sites. And they do that because Hamas doesn't value life. And they know that America and Israel do value life. Kurt? You I'm got to I'm leaving. I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm over. It's that's, over. That's it. <laughs> if she you, says I, some shit that makes you want to get up I'm and like, walk out of the room, like, I, how could you sit there? Does she even have to transform into a lizard for a split second to know what she is? <laughs> does she even have to do a lizard transformation? In fact, I'm just joking because obviously there's no reptile as vile as her. Yeah. <laughs> reptiles are not blood. Reptiles aren't bloodthirsty. They're just trying to live. Yeah. They're not scumbag liars. Like this one. Yeah. She is one of the most despicable people on the planet. Yeah. And she just lies with a straight face. Here we are. What's more? Ready? Let's get back. Yeah, you go. So I don't think we need to tell Israel to take a pause. We need no to pause. let Israel do what Israel needs to do, which is defeat and eliminate Hamas. Hamas. Because Hamas is going to come after us, too. Iran is going to come after us. Because don't forget, when they were dragging those naked bodies in the streets of Gaza, they were saying death to Israel, death to America. So are you kidding me? That... Uh, I, I can't... The words won't... There's too many Kurt, things that will like come out of my words. mouth. words. Yeah, like, I have so many horrible things i want to direct and they yeah. won't fit out of my mouth right now i'm like blocked up i can't even you remind me of the movie tombstone well kurt it I'm, looks like I've you just rolled up. over in your grave so yeah somebody walked over my yeah why johnny ringo yeah by johnny ringo so i'm right now i'm just trying to think of like is there anyone at, watching fox news at home that's that stupid that they would take the words of this woman and if you're over 70 then i forgive you you're probably the same you fell for the nigerian email ukraine scam like our elderly president grandpa. So I'm not going to hold it against me, maws and peepaws to listen it's, to this it's kindergarten crazy. nonsense. But anybody under the age of like 70, if you believe what she says, you are a moron. Well, they don't know the history, Kurt. Sometimes they don't realize that we removed the Iranian 70? government, the, the secular Mosaddegh government. The CIA's first uh, project was to remove that government. We re And that's why the Ayatollah eventually got into power, the theocrats, because we installed the Shah. Jimmy's talked about this. Very repressive, and that's why you get the theocrats that come in. They know. I, I knew it. Look, so, I knew it, but I still was like, yeah, but Iran's bad. Even exactly. Even though I knew the whole story. That's why. I knew the whole story. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, but Because they showed the death to America, death to America, and what, you know what I'm saying? There are, there are Americans are that there. Listen, yeah, they, listen, Fiorella just Hey, what do we say about all these countries? I remember saying we're stuffed in death to, to some America. Well, we said what? I remember saying we should be, well, I didn't say it, but I remember we when should be barbaric. the World Trade Center, what did we say? We should kill 12 of them to one of us and all that I, stuff. What Trump said, uh, they drop one drop of our blood, we'll spill a gallon of their blood. That's how, so I wouldn't take death Beautiful to Beautiful Israel. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't get all offended about death to America if you feel the thing Trump said, which I yeah. did, used to feel. Yeah, which they don't want to kill all the American citizens they're just talking about, no, no, their no, government. They, who cares if they did? 
I'm saying that one of our lives is worth like 50 of theirs. So I think that's, I'm going to make a more, I'm going to do the worst thing you can do right now. I'm yeah. going to make a moral equivalence yeah. to saying debt to America and we'll spill a gallon of their blood for one drop of ours. I do. That's not even an eye for an eye. An eye for an eye is even yeah. one drop for one drop. Yeah. So there, there's nothing. It's just, it's part of the American apparatus and the uh, American, what do you call it? The, um, exceptionalism where our lives are so much more important than theirs we're captain america going around the globe fighting for human rights spreading democracy and peace everywhere while these animals over there are trying to kill everybody over there after and have no the, regard for human life that's after what she all said. the good we've done for them yes this is how they repay this is how us. they repay us thomas massey talked about the yesterday and congress passed a resolution now it's just a resolution tells you the attitude resolution is just you know symbolic 354 to 53, that claims Iran possesses all it needs for a nuclear weapon. The same resolution says that U.S. should use all means necessary to prevent Iran from attaining a wait, nuclear weapon. How is that new? Seems like a call for war on Iran. I voted no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. W wasn't that already the policy? Didn't we just blow up a bunch of their science scientists back when Obama was in with cool motorcycle magnet bombs I on the side of the car? I thought that was the Mossad who did that, but it did say this. This is... It, listen... I don't know how it's different. They're just reinforcing it now. Do they have nukes or not, do you think? Who? Iran. I think they want to use nuclear technology for energy. I don't think they want to necessarily use it for a bomb, but I think they have to use it for a bomb, knowing that Israel has a bomb and the United States has a bomb. So I don't, you got I don't to care have what they want. You, they you get one? a bomb for deterrence. You don't no, get a bomb because no, no, you want to use it. You don't have to make excuses yeah. for your friend Iran. <laughs> I'm saying, of course they want it. What do you do? How are they going to defend themselves? But what I'm saying is, do you think they have one? Yeah. Or all the... Because as far as I knew, we've been blowing their people up right now. I don't left. know if they have one, Kurt, but they should fake like they have one, right? They should front like they have one. Because if the other countries around them that hate them have a bomb, or other countries that want to kill them, like Israel. did Saddam fake that he had stuff and it didn't, and it made us take him out? He, he didn't fake, fake that we had stuff because we sold it to him. No, no, no. But he was pretending to have stuff to intimidate other people in the region, even though he didn't. Maybe at one point, at one point but at, at, during before the invasion, he let you know Scott Ritter go in there, the UN uh, mm -hmm. weapons inspector. He was pretty open to the fact that he didn't have them. Um, and this is whereas in 2023, the IAEA Director of, uh, General Rafael Grossa stated regarding Iran, one thing is true. They have amassed enough nuclear material for several nuclear weapons. So in other words, they're saying they've gotten the material now. It's doomsday. We have to go ahead. We have to do something now. Whereas in March 2023, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, your favorite uh, general, General Mark Milley, testified that Iran could produce uh, fissile material for a nuclear weapon in less than two weeks. It would only take several more months to produce an actual well, What was the point of blowing up their weapon. people then if they're just doing it anyway? Wait a minute. So all the operations we conducted assassinating people in their country yeah. didn't slow it down at all? I don't know. We're, we, when we're killing the scientists and stuff. Whereas Iran is now in possession of an irreversible and dangerous nuclear How? knowledge. We've been sanctioning them and blowing them up right and left. How would they possibly have that? Well, this is what they're saying because they want... Listen, we only started the job, Kurt. These guys want to finish it. Um, the United States that Iran must not be able to obtain nuclear weapon under any circumstances or condition. And this is the part right here to use. The United States is able to use all means necessary. It already was all. No, no. All means necessary. Even more bombing. Remember, they were trying to get Trump to go bombing Iran. And he says, now nah, we'll just whack Soleimani. We won't bomb. Sam him. Harris was advocating a preemptive nuclear strike, wasn't he? Or is that uh, what's his name? No, Sam Harris. Was it Sam Harris? Yeah, we I may have know. to preemptively nuclear strike them because they're a crazy. Remember that lie that they're like, oh, no, they'll just shoot the nukes off at Israel and then die. Yeah, they don't even care, which is a lie. Yeah, that first of all, people in charge are never the ones that are going to commit suicide. Not the like at the very end of the world yet. The Iranian leadership, yeah, they'll send suicide bombers. The guys in charge aren't planning to die. That's all nonsense. Yeah. yeah. And he, they even said to recognize and support the freedom of uh, action of partners and allies, including Israel, to prevent Iran from obtaining nuclear weapons. When have we told weapon? Israel no on all it ever? means necessary. Wait, wait, wait. When have we been telling Israel, hold on? Well, there I is, don't remember a single Well, time. there is an argument where they said that Donald Trump was going to get baited or goaded into attacking Iran, and he decided not to, and they were trying to get him to go forth with, uh, with bombing Iran. He didn't. That was Israel or our people? 
No, it was it was our people who were yeah. deterring him from that and stuff. Israel wanted him to do it. Israel's been dying to. It's probably Nikki Haley. <laughs> it's probably Nikki Haley. Okay, so Thomas Massey, one of the voices of reason when it comes to. I don't understand Thomas Massey always supporting the Republican Party. Like that, he is a Republican, but he's a Libertarian, and he's always stands alone when it comes to these issues. Um, and he said we should remember the Gulf of Tolkien Resolution, which uh, the which. Uh, Midwifed the disastrous Vietnam War. The thing we faked, the false flag. Yeah, that yeah. We Yesterday's did. congressional Iran yeah. resolution is eerily reminiscent of that resolution, as well as the claims of WMD, WMDs in Iraq. Don't forget that one that were used to justify the second Gulf War. And he puts it right here: um, Congress to use conventional military force in Southeast Asia, specifically the resolution which authorized the president to do whatever necessary in order to assist. These are the words in the language we got to be careful. When you can do whatever you want, the AUMF, the authorized use of military force. Yeah, boards. no, I, I, I'm just blown away that they didn't already have that. I, I, I've never seen them. I'm just like. Well, well, here's the thing. Maybe a different Congress did that. This is a new Congress. So they just want to reinforce it, Kurt. And, and it, it's the timing of it that's so so dangerous right now. With this situation so going Wrong, on. It's going to be World War III. That's what I'm seeing. That's here. what they're saying right now. Remember the Gulf of Tolkien incident? They talked about it. The was an international confrontation that led the United States to engaging more directly in the Vietnam War. Uh, Jesse Ventura talked about this yeah, stuff. Wait, okay, hold they on. They used wait, 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 it wait, wait. to drag us into the Vietnam the War. The other segment with uh, George, George's last name, please. Who? Your friend George. Zamwali. Zamwali. He Zamueli, said, I, sorry. Okay. We just talked about this. Yeah. And he said, no, I don't think it's going to go that far. But this looks like we're going to have World War Three. is what it looks like to me. That's what they're trying to insinuate. This is why the dangerous part of it right now, it's just a resolution, but getting everybody on the same page is what they're trying to do and try to figure out. And despite this Bush's asserted, this was talking about the second Gulf War, peaceful measures could not disarm Iraq of the weapons that alleged they didn't have them. <laughs> and he launched a second Gulf War. Because they didn't have any. Of course it couldn't. Peace couldn't disarm. Well, they didn't we have knew the they weapon. had some, but guess what? We knew they expired because we sold it to them. And they weren't useful anymore. Because they, oh, he gassed the Kurds. Yeah, that was a long time ago. We know they're not holding on to anything right now. We know they're not good. But that's what they're doing. Hey, and Kurt. all the same scumbags still work uh, in the area that uh, we about around back then. All the same neocon sacks of shit are still spoken to as if they know anything. Yeah. Does that mean William Crystal's still around? Mm -hmm. David Frum still yes. gets quoted. Yes. Well, you know, you, that's why I, we mentioned Scott Horton earlier in the show who beat up Bill Crystal. He's challenged uh, your boy Ben Shapiro to a debate. Uh, and guys that's like that are absolutely ridiculous. Huh? Yeah, I mean, there's no way. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, he's not gonna. He won't. He won't debate him. Scott Horton's been great. Listen, I don't agree with everything on Scott Horton, but the majority of stuff, and that's why I'm so proud and so happy that I was able to speak at the Rage Against the War Machine because it was the. It was like we're gonna form this bond together with these libertarians and a lot of leftists. Like you can't form a bond with libertarians. They're racist. They don't care about us. Libertarians are racist. Who says that? A lot of people remember. I don't want to mention names, but people okay, talked will you about tell it. Tell them they're an idiot if they said that for me. Tell them I said they're. How about you can tell, look in the mirror and tell them they're idiots for saying. Did you really say that you? They did say that. Somebody no, said, "No, I know, I know." I've somebody been literally said, "Goes, I don't want to go and uh, form a bond uh, and to come together on a certain issue, and then they want to hurt me after." And I was like, "They want to hurt you after." I'm like, "My friends in the Mises Caucus, I know them. The, the, the people who hurt you, David, how? I know David Smith, Clint Russell, Reed Coverdale, w who's uh, wait, Scott Horton. These people are hurt them in what way? Racially? So, yeah. Well, that's what they were saying. That they, you know, they were saying, "I don't want to join." That was the that's the CIA line they were parroting. I don't want to join forces with to, to help somebody out on a certain issue, and then after we're done coming together to fight that issue, they want to hurt me after. Uh, but how would libertarians want to hurt you after the no authority people? That's what they were saying. They were saying that they're they're racist. Are they involved in anti-racism? I told you they pointed out the Southern Poverty Law Center that pointed out the Mises Caucus had racial issues and the stuff. The one that did That's hurt black people. So yeah. SPLC, the one that the guy had to leave because yeah. he was sexually harassing yeah. Yeah. women of color Look, and we, not promoting them. We made the right move. I'm so happy we stood with them. Yeah, Wolf's dead, guys, so you better pull yeah, your heads out of here. Yeah. Go see the Twats. David. Go go watch the uh, the David Smith uh, debate with that kid, Austin. He's great. Go watch Dave Scott, Scott Horton stuff. all over the place. Scott Horton with Viva Fry. He's been amazing. And I don't agree with Scott and everything, but I, a lot of the things I do agree with him. And like I said, yeah. he was the first to congratulate oh, me coming lawyer. off the stage. That lawyer. Yeah. That's who that is? That guy's great. Viva Fry. Scott, Hood, but that's the lawyer the, that explained how they treat uh, Native Americans. There, uh, uh, the, the Indian nations here, how bad the states treat them. Yeah, and he explained a thing really well. Uh, that guy's good. I know. Viva was great during the the truckers. Uh, he was out there covering the trucker protest, and he was great. And he was showing that these are not racist people out there. I I've loved Viva in, in all 
in almost everything he's done except when it's come to this. He had a great video with Scott Horton. Go watch it. It's amazing. Hey, we don't got to get married, guys. It's not like when you go to CVS yeah. and you have to make a pledge to always go to CVS with your special card. You could just buy the item and leave. And you talked about this with Marjorie Taylor Greene, that you come together and you fight on an issue with her to end the Ukraine war. And as soon as it's done, you can go back to yelling at her for other stupid things she does. Right? You could do that. You know, I feel bad that, that Jewish space laser lie they tell that Jonathan Haidt from uh, the Atlantic said about her. Yeah, that liar put that out. She never said that. Come see us doing uh, live shows. We're going to be in Levittown, Red Bank, New Jersey, Wilmington, Delaware, Covina, California, Burbank, California, Oxnard, California, Venice, California, Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Iowa, Milwaukee, and Lansing, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all those tickets. <laughs> <laughs>